Hello friends. Welcome to the first grammar lesson. Today we will discuss 10 rules for subject verb agreement in which most people do mistakes. Let's start to detect these errors and mistakes. Rule number one. If two or more singular subjects connected by and usually take a verb in the plural. For example, Hari and Ram is here. This sentence is grammatically incorrect because here Ram and Hari are connected by the conjunction and. So it takes the verb in the plural, there is are. The correct form of this sentence is Hari and Ram are here. Rule number two. If two singular nouns refer to the same person or thing, the verb must be singular. Grammatically, this sentence is also incorrect. Though here is a conjunction and used, but here the same person is secretary as well as principal. The correct form of this sentence is the secretary and principal is coming. Rule number three. If the singular subjects are preceded by each or every, the verb is usually singular. For example, every boy and girl were ready. In this sentence, the word every is used but the verb is still plural. Here the verb should be singular. The correct form of this sentence is every boy and girl was ready. Rule number four. Two or more singular subjects connected by or, nor, either or, neither nor, take a verb in the singular. For example, neither he nor I were there. The correct form of this sentence is neither he nor I was there. Rule number five. When the subjects joined by R nor are of different numbers, the verb must be plural, and the plural subjects must be placed next to the verb. For example, neither the assistant masters nor the headmaster was present. Here the singular subject that is headmaster is placed before the verb. So according to this rule, this sentence is incorrect. The plural subject of this sentence is a It should be placed before the verb and the verb must be plural. For example, neither the headmaster nor the assistant masters were present. Rule number six. When the subjects joined by are, nor, or of different persons, the verb agrees in person with the one nearest to it. For example, either he or I is mistaken. Here the subject I not agrees with the verb is. Therefore, the correct form of this sentence is either he or I am mistaken. Rule number seven. Rule number seven states that a collective noun takes a singular verb when this collection is thought of as a whole. A plural verb when the individuals of which it is composed are thought of. For example, the council has chosen the president. Here the council is thought of as a whole, therefore singular verb is used with it. Rule number eight. Some nouns which are singular in form but plural in meaning take a plural verb. For example, mathematics or a branch of study in every school. The correct form of this sentence is mathematics is a branch of study in every school. Rule number nine. Words join to a singular subject by with, together with, in addition to, or as well as, etc are parenthetical and therefore do not affect the numbers of the word. For example, the chief with all his men were massacred. This sentence is incorrect because here the chief is singular noun and joined by with. So it takes the word in singular not in plural. The correct form of this sentence is the chief with all his men was massacred. Rule number 10. When the subject of the verb is a relative pronoun, care should be taken to see that the verb agrees in number and person with the antecedent of the relative. For example, I, who is your friend, will guard your interests. 
Here the subject I not agrees with the verb is. So the correct form of this sentence is I who am your pen will guard your interest.